Now, Afghanistan's very first female ambassador to the United States, Roya Rahmani, has in fact blamed the former government for the Taliban's takeover. Rahmani left her position in the month of July and she said that she is clearly horrified by the takeover of the country by the Taliban, although she insists looking at what was happening under the governments of Hamid Karzai and also Ashraf Ghani, she's not surprised that the Taliban has now stormed back to power. Our next report gets you all the details. A former Afghan envoy to Washington blames Kabul's former government for the country's Taliban takeover, accusing them of widespread corruption. That echoes sentiments from current and former U.S. officials for years. Roya Ramani served as the country's first female ambassador to the United States, leaving her post of three years in July. In an interview in Washington, D.C., she said that it was mismanagement by Afghanistan's leaders that led to the Taliban to take over so quickly. The U.S. government has indicated that they were met by surprise. Uh, I, as an Afghan, was not surprised by the fact that the Taliban took over Afghanistan the way they did. It was the leadership that was corrupt. And uh, they uh, handed over basically the, the country to the Taliban and, and their actions led to that. In particular, she expressed disappointment at Ashraf Ghani for abandoning the presidency. That was the only thing that surprised me, in fact, that I had at least better expectation from him, not from him alone, not from his aides, because, but I could also see that the same way that he made all the other decisions, the same way that he outsourced the matter of the country just to his uh, two aides or three aides, uh, this, this would be the consequences. Ghani said on Wednesday he left because he wanted to avoid bloodshed. He denied allegations he stole millions of dollars on his way out. Ramani also warned of massive geopolitical shifts coming for Washington and its allies. I believe that the uh, United States will be facing uh, a new Pakistan uh, with a different uh, uh, ability or leverage. The issue with the Indian uh, Muslims, uh, the relationship with China, with Turkey. Recently you heard uh, we all heard a statement by the, uh, one of the Taliban spokesperson speaking about Kashmir. That was the first uh, statement of its kind. The Taliban have vowed to be more tolerant compared to their last time ruling Afghanistan. However, Ramani cautioned that dark times lay ahead for women there. She points to the Taliban's decision on Tuesday to exclude women from all top government positions. <laughs> Women-led protests following that announcement were cut short after Taliban gunmen fired into the air to disperse the hundreds that rallied. I salute all the brave women of Afghanistan. It is quite risky to do what they are doing. And it's also uh, an indication to the rest of the world that they have everything to lose uh, at this point. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.